In this video we're going to continue to solve the material balance for a steam reformer and we're going to use uh, three different elemental balances in order to continue to build up uh, the equations that we need to be able to solve this problem. So we're going to start off with a carbon balance and first of all you know whatever goes in must come out so in equals out now we know from the calculations earlier on that we've got 1.04 k moles of carbon going into the system we, we calculated that in the previous video and then in terms of what's coming out we have x k moles of carbon from the ch4 in the outlet we also have y k moles of carbon in the form of CO in the outlet and then we also have whatever's coming out in the form of CO2 now we can rearrange this equation and obtain CO2 out equals 1.04 minus x minus y and that um, then allows us to fill in one of the gaps on the table we're building up okay next we're going to do an oxygen balance so again what goes in must come out in equals out so we have 0 0.04 k moles of oxygen atoms going in from the co2 we only have 0 0.02 k moles of co2 going in but there's two oxygen atoms for every one of those molecules so it's 0 0.04 k moles of oxygen atoms going in from there plus 4.16 K moles of oxygen atoms going in from the water that's going in and that's all the oxygen that's going into the system and that equals what's coming out so we have y k moles of oxygen coming out in the form of carbon monoxide we also have two lots of 1.04 minus x minus y k moles of oxygen coming out in the form of CO2 and then we also have the H2O coming out so we have that whatever that number is that's the k moles of oxygen atoms coming out in the form of water now we can simplify and rearrange this to actually work out the H2O out equals 2.12 plus 2x plus y. So that is the k moles of, ox of oxygen of H2O out of the system. So we've done that balance and now we've filled in another blank on the table. The final step is to do a hydrogen balance. Again, what goes in must come out. And this time we have 1.8 K moles of hydrogen coming in from the methane so we're doing this balance on H2 so given that we've got 0 0.9 k moles of CH4 that's the equivalent to 1.8 k moles of H2 going in then we also have 0 0.18 k moles of hydrogen coming in from the C2H6 again we only actually have 0 0.06 of the ethane but given that this means that it's H6 that means there's three lots of H2 in there so we multiply that number by three 
we also have 4.16 k moles of hydrogen coming in from the water. Now that equals 2x k moles coming in, um, going out, sorry, from the CH4. It also means that we've got 2.12 plus 2x plus y k moles. All of that is coming out in the form of water. So we worked out that just from the previous balance. And then we also have the H2 coming out of the system. If we rearrange this, the H2 out equals 4.02 minus 4x minus y. So now if we go back to the table that we were completing in the previous video, we can start to fill in some of these blanks. So we have 1.04 minus x minus y here. We have 2.12 plus 2x plus y for the H2O out. And we have 4.02 minus 4x minus y for the h2 out so that's very useful this is building up uh, to the next step that we need to look at and we're going to be looking at the equilibrium constant and what's going on with that in order to work out various things with the equilibriums we're going to have to work out the mole fraction of each of these in the gas phase so we're going to have to work out yi so that's the mole fraction of each component um, now the total of all of this is 7.2 minus 2x so if we add up all of these terms here we get 7.2 minus 2x so to get the mole fraction we can simply do x the k moles divided by the total k moles 7.2 minus 2x and we can carry that process on all the way down so we can get the mole fraction that's going to be important for the next stage so in the next video we'll look at the next step in in that's needed to solve this problem